And welcome back guys to Seven Max the Mole, the Mob and the Big Ball. Let's just go. Right, so the um the card we that you know the um, card for the for the um clown's nose is actually back here. So let's go get it. And then we can progress. Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve and never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high-caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. With this card, we're going to put it on the clown's nose and we're going to win those ten million coins and we're gonna get that voice thing and then we'll progress a lot more where are we going Sam where do you think teddy bears mafia free playland and casino goody Welcome to Teddy Bears Mafia Step Thank you and goodbye. Well, wow, it sticks. Back for a little more public you just a All right. I'm betting all ten million. So, sure, we'll bet a token. Huh. Sorry, Fido, you lose. The dog win. What? I you you cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You pay up, stick trauma. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play whack the rats ten million times in a row without passing out. Now we gotta go back and back to um this guy over here. I can never remember his name. Just tells you how much I pay attention. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By the sacred stench of Saint Gainsbourg, these are not American dollars. No, but there are ten million of them. Hmm. Well, the prizes at teddy bears can be quite useful. I accept. And in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This is a bug. Precisely. It's Does an this thing really earwig. Work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question. Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. 
Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a non boy! You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I've seen them kill. Larvae. Larvae! Huh? So yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut-eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes sir! Wow. This is great. See ya, Bosco. I'm gonna just have a single feeling these quests will go up every single time. It'll be downright hilarious! Where are we going, Sam? It's obvious. Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Ted. You know what? We don't care about you. We just care about making progress. I can't listen to that. Think, boy! I can't listen to that. Think, boy! A one armed bandit. Insert token to play. You're on fire. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it! What's the password? You may have Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it! What's the password? That's gotta be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes sir. Give me the password. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look. That must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. Are you interested? What Mafia? Exactly. I guess we should just say it sounds good. I don't know what else to do. I can't think of anything I'd rather do. At least not for the next five minutes. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. 
The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Chuckle, bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. There are three jobs I need you to do for us. What kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody, I want you to whack somebody, and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain civil pandemic. Silence as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. This is gonna be fun. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective-y! Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. Does the carpet match the drapes? The drapes? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you about the drapes, my friend. Uh, no, that's okay. Maybe his hobby is interior decorating, Sam. Let's not chance it. We'll be back. A word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. Looks like you can monitor the whole casino floor from there. And a few other places besides. Or you can watch Mary Tyler Moore! Who told uh, you about that? Mary Tyler Moore. Dick Van Dyke show. Right, so we need to persuade Bosco to let us to sell. And then we need to do something being about, about Sybil. Great. I have an idea. She doesn't even question. <laughs> we'll be right back with this. Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, well, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. The alien love rectangle post. I had no. Okay, so there's nothing new. I thought there was. Hey, Bosco.
How does Betach Part 2 work again? If anything gets placed in this store that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the street! See you later, Monsieur Sissy Pants. Au reservoir, les enfants! Halt! Are you trying to deliver something? I am watching you! No comment. Could I get a grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam? You crack me up, little buddy. Who's joking? Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Sludgies. This week's flavors, avocados de menthe and fudge pâté de foie gras. Oh, good. For a second, I thought it was something disgusting. We don't know what it is. you to this neighborhood, Cuddly Bear. Excuse me. Just delivered the bears. We'll be right back, guys.